We all arrive in different ways. Some of us on the subway, a crowded bus, our car, a private jet. Me, I arrive on a big wheel. No matter how we arrive, we are all on a journey. Sorry. We are all on a journey, wait, both wait, literally. Wait for it, wait for it. Sorry, I'll wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We are all on a journey, both literally and figuratively. We meet challenges along the way. Some view those challenges as roadblocks, others as opportunities. I had a very difficult childhood, and at a certain point, I decided to live and share a life of joy. I'd like to take you with me this evening on a journey toward joy through three tr true stories. We will start on the New York City subway. Now, I'm aware you're probably thinking, Kristen, that is one of the last places we are going to find any joy. Unless, of course, Improv Everywhere steps on board. But if you travel with me, we might discover a little bit of joy as well. So we're on the subway, and it's rush hour. The car is crammed with people, but no one interacts with anyone. They stare at the ads overhead or New York Times crumbled in their lap. A young mother tries to calm a crying child, and no one helps her. And then Mike starts to speak loudly. Hey, man, I'm sorry to bother you. My name is Mike. I lost my job. I'm homeless. My wife just left me. My dog ran away. I'm looking for a little loose change. I'm hungry. People turn their MP3 players louder, and no one listens. And then I reach into my bag, and I pull out a bottle of bubbles. I'm always packing. And I start to blow bubbles. And of course, since it's New York City, people act like they don't see anything. But I notice someone is smiling. And I also see the crying child has stopped crying. So I reach into my bag, and I pull out another bottle of bubbles. And I share them with the young mother, gesturing for her to join me. And she does. And we blow bubbles together. And soon other people are smiling. And so I pull out another bottle of bubbles. And I share them with someone else. And they start blowing bubbles. I've shared over 500 bottles of bubbles on the New York City subways. <laughs> yes, it's a small gesture. But <laughs> bubbles can make a difference. <laughs> I also always carry my free hug sign, because you never know when there might be a free hugs emergency. It's been said we need at least four hugs a day to maintain our sanity. Many of us are not meeting our quota. I started doing free hugs in New York City just after the financial crisis. People shared the most intimate details of their lives. We are desperate to connect. I started organizing free hugs events all over the world, and I carried my sign everywhere I went. The most powerful free hug I ever received was from a boy in Paris. He was sitting on the sidewalk, rubbing his hand back and forth across the pavement. He saw us out of the corner of his eye, and he asked his mother what we were doing. To my relief, she did not say we were crazy. She said, they're giving hugs. It's really wonderful. They left. A few minutes later, I heard the sound of feet on the pavement. This little boy leaped into my arms, hugging me tight, looking me right in the eye. And then I saw his mother. Tears were streaming down her face. I stepped forward. I, I put him down. I said, I'm really sorry. Did I do something wrong? She said, I can't believe this. He's severely autistic. He barely ever hugs me or his father. He just hugged you, a complete stranger. She hugged me tighter and said, you are special. And I hugged her and I said, you are too. We will end our journey back in New York City. Say yes to opportunities for joy. I said yes to the big wheel race. There were only a few rules. You had to be at least 18 years old to participate. <laughs> and you were supposed to dress like a superhero. Careening down the steep slopes of Central Park, our capes flying out behind us, legs draped over the handlebars, reaching speeds of 15 miles per hour. A crowd gathered. Someone asked, may I borrow your big wheel? And because joy is meant to be shared, I said, yes, you can. 
I ask you to search your lives for joyful moments and to share them. They may seem small and insignificant, but they make a much bigger impact than what we realize. Science shows us that joy releases endorphins, it boosts our immune system, it makes us feel good. Joy is contagious in a good way. So share your joy, and I'll keep sharing mine. And if anyone wants a free hug, just look for me and my sign.